When the Welsh coal came, Henry's driver and fireman were excited. Now we'll show them, Henry, old fellow. They carefully made his fire, putting large lumps of coal like a wall round the outside. Then the glowing middle part was covered with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire just when we want it. The fireman was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely, and he had to let off steam. How are you, Henry? Beep, beep, beep. I feel fine. Have you a good fire, driver? Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record-breaking, warned Sir Topham Hatt. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady, old fellow, he would say. There's plenty of time. They arrived early at the station. Thomas puffed in. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry. Oh, I can't wait for dawdling tank engines like you. Goodbye. said Thomas to the coaches. Have you ever seen anything like it? Both Annie and Clarabelle agreed that they never had. Henry didn't give up. With some help from his friends, he just got better. And so can you. I'll see you at the races. Said.